Illerman and Dye is reportedly on Merseyside today having his medical ahead of his proposed move from Marseille to Evan. Uh, the fee, the reported fee, is around 18.5 million euro with another 1.5 uh, euros to be added on. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is obviously this story broke the other day. We know Kevin Thelwell likes and He tried to get him last summer, but Everton simply didn't have the money. Um, and Everton are looking to try and increase their attacking options. And they didn't have a great season at Marseille last year, which is probably the reason why Everton have moved. They've seen an opportunity to uh, to get him in and strengthen their attacking options. And if Everton can get him in, then it's another one in through the door before pre-season training begins next week. And it's exactly what Sean Dyche will have wanted. It doesn't, you know, doesn't give anyone an advantage if players are coming in late August uh, when pre-season's out the way and the games are already begun. So it's good to see Everton moving quickly with some of these deals. And hopefully that will be concluded quite quickly and uh, we can then move on to the next one. We're trying to get through the door, but it does look as though Illerman and Dai will be joined and Everton and more details uh, will be out shortly and we will have them for you when they are. Dan Freakin and representatives of the Freakin group uh, apparently flew over from the US earlier this week to visit Goodison Park, the club's offices and the new stadium down at Bramley Moor Dock, that is according to reports today. We do know the Freakin group is uh, in town doing their due diligence ahead of a 94.1% proposed takeover from Farhad Mashiri. Everton will want this concluded quickly. Uh, the Freakin group will want this concluded quickly. Uh, certainly us Evertonians want to conclude it quickly as we try to start moving forward. There's already an air of optimism around, I would suggest, certainly a lot brighter than has been for around about 18 months. And we've got to try and build on this now. You know, we're moving into our new stadium in just over a year's time. The players we're talking about coming in at the moment, trying to bolster that squad, trying to give that squad a boost. And new ownership will certainly do that. And... Um, it seems to be moving in the right direction. It isn't done yet, and we can't get ahead of ourselves, but certainly positive positive uh, things are going on in terms of the takeover. Uh, reports coming out of Turkey today that Fenerbahce are very interested in Everton striker Beto. Uh, new signing Jose Mourinho has apparently approved the signing, uh, and Everton are looking for a fee of around €20 million Euros for the striker who only joined the club last August from Udinese. Listen, I don't know if this is true or it isn't true. Everton certainly hadn't, uh, at time of recording this, received any kind of bid from Fenerbahce. I know there's a couple of rumours going around today that they're in negotiations. They haven't had any contact as yet with uh, Beto. But sometimes these stories do come out ahead of an official bid. Um, Jose Marino will have come across uh, Beto in Serie A, of course, when he was Roma manager and Beto was playing through the Nese, so we'll know about him. And he could probably do a really good job in Turkey. But what I would stress is, you know, Beto, I've just been talking before when I was talking about Ndai coming in early. Beto came in, you know, in August, towards the end of August last season. Didn't have a pre-season with Everton. Hadn't had a full pre-season with the Nese because of an injury that he had. And therefore always felt like he was playing a little bit of catch-up. Didn't have a great season, but done all right and was an option. And, you know, who knows if, if Sean Dyche is prepared to let him leave or not. Maybe they will if an offer comes in. But if not, then it's a chance for him to get himself fully fit this pre-season and have a much better season this time out for Everton. But we'll, we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. There's, I'm sure there's going to be... Lots of to and fro and at Everton over this summer. It certainly seems like that's what's going to happen. We don't know what's happening with Dominic, Dominic Calvert-Lewin. We know that Everton is still very interested in Jan Kuba, uh, Minta, even though at the moment those two deals are at a standstill. And lots of other things are being, you know, bounced around as well. And, and you know what? Maybe at the perception of Everton is changing ever so slightly and players are more open to moving to the football club and, and we'll see what happens. But right now, the, the Beto stuff, you can park that in rumoured because there has been no official contact as yet. And further on that, uh, finally, Everton have apparently 
requested information. I mean, Everton surely can do the information, but they've requested information according to the force today. On Juventus defender Federico Gatti, the 26-year-old defender, played 32 times for Juve last season. He did play on the right of a back three. He scored four goals. He's currently away at the Euros with Italy as well. Again, Everton will be linked to centre-backs, won't they? You know, there's Ben Godfrey's got a year left on his contract, won't sign a new one, so Everton probably be looking to move him out. We keep getting Jared Brantwaite's link to Manchester United, although that seems to be weakening by the day. But other stories coming around that Everton are looking to move on, Michael Keane and, of course, Mason Holgate was told last season he could leave the football club. So Everton probably will be looking at defensive uh, reinforcements. Jacob Greaves is one who's definitely still in uh, on the list there for centre-backs to come in. So, again, the movements will be to and fro and it might be a little bit of trading here and there. That's that's the way we have to operate as we move towards making things better financially for, uh, from that perspective. But Gatti is the latest one linked. And, of course, don't shoot the messengers. We are simply reporting what is in the news today regarding Everton. Make of it what you will. That is it for the News Daily. There is a video coming out on Ilian and Dai very shortly on the channel. Make sure you check that one out. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't, because why wouldn't you? And otherwise, thanks for taking the time to watch. We'll see you later.